Hey guys, as no matter here, welcome back to uh, Peter's Pokemon Black and Blue Edition. Um, if you haven't played that game, I recommend not playing it because Peter are silly. <laughs> it's really are. Like, goddamn, they they get crazy over the stupidest things. Uh, anyway, like I'm all for animal rights and whatever the fuck, but <laughs> Mario tearing off a Tanuki's clothes. Oh, there's another rack over there. Um. Oh, to, uh, Tanuki's clothes. Tanuki's skin to wear it? Yeah, that's totally not what happens at all, actually. But, uh, anyway. Even though I know most people... Uh, most people I know, at least. I don't actually want to use this rocket launcher. Uh, so I'm not going to. I'm going to use my new shotgun that's level 16 uh, only. So if you're anything that's above or below level 16, you're not allowed. Look at that. Sniping them right out of the air. I'm gonna go right back down and pick up the ammo. Anyway, we're gonna be fighting Marley and Modele. Isn't that... Oh yeah, Marley and Me. That's what that movie is. I've never seen it. Uh, because it doesn't look good. I only like to watch uh, movies that I find legitimately interesting or are famous. I say famous is in really popular movies, you know. But popular in an interesting way. I don't know what I'm going on about. Like for instance, uh, a lot of the Tarantino films. Things like that. I thought that was an enemy. Um, so Marley and Mo are up there, if I recall correctly. Right in front of us. R no, right over here. I lied. Okay. I could have just looked at my thing down here. Um, and yeah. there, no joke. Okay, so if you can tell we're in Skag area. Alright. Oh, there's Marley. And there's Mo. So Marley and Mo. One is fire and one is electric. These are uh, variations of Skags. I don't know if we've gotten into them oh, just yet. Oh, this has got a long reload speed. It's not good. Uh, I might try and take out Mo first with my shotgun here because she's not gonna, or he's not gonna fucking take uh, fire damage, of course, because it's fire type. You will, we will be seeing uh, badass Skags um, like Marley and Mo. Oh, these aren't. Oh, that's fine. I'm fine with hitting them. Um, and variations of other enemies like this, where essentially they will be certain elemental types. So we've seen one variation already of like a bandit. Uh, I think bandits only really have the fire, the fire, the flaming cycle, whatever the hell. Okay, no. I've had enough of shenanigans. I'm out of here. Bang! It's butt slaps. Butt slap, baby butt slap, gotta reload butt slap, don't really gotta butt slap. Where is Molly? I am confused and uh, I'm scared. Oh god. Good thing that my passive fire effect is absolutely destroying these things. He's probably gonna make me go down. But luckily that skag over there is just in my sights. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Where are you? Oh, yes, perfect. Ha ha ha, thank you, Skaggle, for being there for me when I need you. No, no, no. Wait, I can do it. No, oh, that's a bad time to open your mouth, Mark. And you didn't die anyway. But, mm, mm, now, now you are, okay. Alright, we'll pick up all this loot now after we fight Marley. Well, this is, of course, electric, so we can actually maybe go back to this pistol here and uh, deal some damage like that. Yeah, but there was a nice uh, passive burn damage there. It's fine. If I'm uh, stuttering and going weird and crazy, I'm trying to concentrate because I would really like to not die. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I'm pretty sure that makes perfect sense, to be honest. There's not much to it. Alright, so smack you. Please get the stun. Do not get the stun. That's fine. We don't need the stun. That would have only helped greatly. We don't need help. This is Dark Souls 3. Alright, whoop, hold on. That fire damage is crazy. Crazy damage. What you gonna fucking do? No yeah, that's right. You're done. There is no one to your power level if you are correct. Look at all this shit. Oh, that's a nice shield. That's a direct upgrade. I love it when you can pick, find a weapon, you like a weapon or a shield, and you're looking around, and you're like, ah, oh, this is, uh, I've got to do maths away, and you just look around, and it's like, oh wait, this is a direct fucking upgrade. Okay, I'm fine with that. Is that all I dropped? Just lots of ammo? And Hmm. I just picked up a gun. Oh well, that's fine. And we also leveled up, which is also very, very good. We've leveled up a lot in these last few episodes. Or maybe it's just me. So now we finally got this bloody phase walk regenerating health thing. 
Um, one uh, plus one percent of your health per second. Okay. The next level will be plus three percent. So I might put another one into that. I know I'm, I'm going on about it, but you would you would not believe how helpful it is. Cause like I'm in the middle of battle, I'm low health. I go into my my phase walk, and then like oh I'm I'm back on high health again, you know. So yeah, like I said, I will be focusing on those two trees, but I feel like I'm, I might have spend too much time on the other tree anyway. So yeah, thank you. Um, now let's go to the, this one. We're gonna go find the snap rifle. So scavenger sets uh, missions. They they are also. Uh, what am I thinking? Not frequent, but you know, they're like the claptrap missions are in certain areas. Where he's just got to find bits and bobs of <coughs> certain weapons. I don't know if we've done one already. Pretty sure we haven't. Um, but yeah. Um, it's, it's really self explanatory, to be honest. Just walk around and find the pieces. Find the pieces of the treasure map. Piece of one piece. It's the name of the tree. Look at that. Boom. He didn't even try and stand a chance. He didn't even try. Did you? Did you try? Yeah, it looked like trying on me. Try out next time. You have to burn your mask and your buzzsaw axe. Bloody hell. Is someone considerate on this planet? I don't know. Look at him. He's died in one shot. He didn't even try. Bloody hell. Come on. I want a challenge. Zero. Look at this. They're all scared of me. They're not even coming out. What is this? What is this? A game for babies? Bloody hell. Last time I checked, the box said this was rated M. At least I think it is. Probably M. I can't imagine it being MA, to be honest. I really can't. PG, no, it wouldn't be. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense. This game feels like a nice, solid M rating, actually. Uh, okay, so look, look, we're regenerating our health. I was dead, but I'm going to slap this guy in the back of the head. I, I, don't shoot me! God, that's rude. God. Duh. Duh. <sighs> Gotta do the heavy breathing, man. I'm not mad. I'm mad at you, though. Come on, I got this. Best shot in the West. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so satisfied this one shot. These guys with a bloody pistol from 20 miles away. Alright. Ooh, there's a barrel. Nice. I think it's all around this area, which is really convenient because Slaves of Safe House is right over there. Um, which I do remember. Slaves of Safe House is actually a really cool area. I, at least I do. I, f I, I find it cool, that is. Um, so I think I know what I'm going to do <coughs> um, for this episode. I reckon we'll finish off finding these sniper rifle pieces. You see that? Just smack that guy as I land him down on his fucking face. Okay. Uh, and we'll find these sniper rifle pieces and then we will end it off just before we walk in there. And no, I know I'm leaving on a cliffhanger, but that's what I like to do, you know? This is good it's good design. Oh, it's a uh, body. There it is. Man, I can make a gun with just a body in a barrel, that'd be easy. I don't need stock. That'd be crazy. I didn't say either. It's just a sniper rifle. There are. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even want to finish that sentence. You'll find out. You'll find out. Anyway, uh, more ammo and money. This is always nice. However, I, f I think actually, if I look at the map here, um, I don't think that's like specifically telling me where to look. It's just in this general area. So this could actually be a little bit annoying. Uh, not annoying, but just a little bit time consuming, but whatever. We got time, do you guys got time? Oh, I'm sorry, you got somewhere to be? Well, then you should probably go do that. I'm not very, I'm not very interesting and or important to take up your time. I'm gonna be honest. You probably will agree with me as well. Aha! I see you up there, stock. I could probably get up there myself, but I chose to jump. I have a problem with that? Alright, um, so the next part, the last part of the site, um, is this like a ladder? Yeah, but we probably kind of climb up that. Then, not the kind of climbing ladder that we can have, I think. I'll try it though. Yeah. This looks interesting. Hmm. Um, 
Let's see, this is just a straight up assault rifle. Uh, I will actually come up here and properly look around. Maybe we can see something in the toilet, just some ammo. I'd rather someone uh, pooped out some ammo from me. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Something right here, maybe? There's some. Oh my god, hello there, the bloody. Oh. Terrible purple SMG. What the fuck? Why is it so bad for purple? Uh, I mean, really? Hold on. No, I gotta look at this again. Fucking find you. That's our first purple weapon. Oh, wait, no, it's our second purple weapon. Oh, I guess that's just the bone shredder, but. That can't be right. What does this have again? This is 90.2 accuracy, 6.9. 6.9. That's. It's just not good. I don't know. Whatever. I guess. I'm not complaining. I mean, I am complaining because it's a purple weapon. I get you just don't find purple weapons in stacks like that. In you know, skag piles. Okay, guys. I found the site is actually right here. There we go. Found it. That took way longer than it should have, but you know. Whatever. It's a nice little green glowing effect that uh, was able to blend in nicely with the the, the bloody. Bloody bush. Alright. Anyway, so that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Borderlands. In the next episode, we'll be going to Slash's Safe House. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.